home. It's more than just a word. It's a state of mind. It's an aura of security and respect. It's a place where friends and family gather to enjoy each other's company. But in the state of Louisiana, it's a ground-shaking clash of gridiron heroes. Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Fighting Tigers, is one of the most eminent playing fields in the world. During the fall, fans from across the state and nation come to cheer on their team and congregate to enjoy some good old-fashioned tailgating. But to the visiting team and fans, it takes on a different name. And the reason that the name was coined Death Valley is mm -hmm. where uh, uh, opposing teams, where their dreams come to die. <laughs> and uh, I, I enjoyed that. In 1924, Tiger Stadium opened its gates to the LSU faithful with a seating capacity of 12,000 and in 1931 added another 10,000, but still found a growing demand for more seating. In the early 1930s, Governor Huey P. Long, an adamant supporter of LSU, proposed money be allotted to increase the stadium's size. He was met with strong opposition because the only money for campus construction was to be put towards more dorm rooms for a steadily increasing university enrollment. Thus, a compromise was formed. To meet the demands for more stadium seating and more student housing, the dormitories that could house 1,500 students were built inside of the stadium while adding 24,000 seats. LSU students lived underneath the Saturday night battles until the early 1990s. Since, its expansion has been continuous, with the adding of the West Upper Deck in the 1970s and the East Upper Deck in the 1980s. Now at a capacity of 92,400, it's the sixth largest on-campus stadium in the country. This campus monument has housed some of the greatest plays in college football history. Billy Cannon's game-winning punt return against Ole Miss Halloween night, 1959. The earthquake game, LSU vs. Auburn, 1988. When the Bayou Bengals scored the game-winning touchdown, the vibrations from the crowd's eruption registered on a seismograph in the LSU geology department on the opposite side of campus. In the three years that you've been here, what are your favorite moments or memories so far? First time I took the field against Tennessee was, the, was, a, uh, was a, an amazing field. In 2007, Tiger Stadium hosted two of the wildest finishes in LSU football history, the first coming against Florida in front of a record crowd of 92,910. In the game-winning drive with Down, they make the announcement that USC had just lost to Stanford and that the winner of this game would be number one in the nation. Right. We were still behind in driving, and the stadium just came unglued. It was like, <laughs> uh, it was like Mardi Gras times 10. I mean, mm -hmm. it was... If I was a fan and I had witnessed that event, I don't know that I could spend any other time in any other stadium. The crowd was so loud that the noise level reached 130 decibels, the equivalent of standing next to a military jet taking off. Next was the last second miracle against Auburn. I do enjoy the, uh, the view of Death Valley. It's where opponents' dreams come to die. I just think that's a great uh, piece that I will always, you know, it will always be with me. In 2007, a report ranked Tiger Stadium as the third toughest stadium for visiting teams to come play in the world. And the report's author wasn't even from the United States. To opponents, it's feared as Death Valley. To the fans, it's called Tiger Stadium. But to the LSU football team, it's known as home.